I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Bitcoin. I take one finger at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Curve line, curve line, curve line up and connect. I'm going to start at the dot again, put another dot and we're going to draw the same line all over again. Keep going up and connect. Inside I'm going to put baby circle one two straight lines. Baby circle one two straight lines. Baby circle one two straight lines. I'm making a repeating pattern all the way around my circle. Now the interesting thing about Bitcoin is there is no actual design of a Bitcoin except for the symbol we're going to draw in the center. So all of the, all of the designs that I'm doing right now can all be changed and you as an artist can make up your own. But I'm going to give you your basics. Okay. Now I come over to the left and I put one finger and put a dot on top, come all the way down, put one finger, and put another dot. Alright, come back to the top. Straight line in, straight line up, little straight line, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, little straight line, straight line down, straight line out, and leave it floating. Come down here to the bottom one and we're going to put straight line in, straight line down, little straight line, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, little straight line, straight line up, straight line out, and leave it floating. Now I'm going to come back to my first dot and I'm going to draw straight line down, straight line in, Come to the bottom dot, straight line up, straight line in, now connect the two, straight line down, connect. Come over to this floating line and we're just going to draw curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Come on the inside and we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line, connect. Come down below, straight line, curve line out, in, connect. Now I'm going to come back to my first dot and I'm just going to mimic the outside line all the way around. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and connect. Okay. This main symbol is the Bitcoin symbol. All the other parts, you can make up your own. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, for my Bitcoin, I'm using three colors. I'm going to color inside my actual symbol, brown. Now, it is a digital currency, which means that it's used for transactions monetary transactions online, internet. That's why nobody really knows what a Bitcoin looks like. But all the research I did, everyone that I saw had this symbol to designate it as Bitcoin. So this would be one part of your coin you would have to keep. So I'm going to do my brown and then I'm going to do the inside yellow and then I'm going to take my yellow and I'm just going to go around and around my design for my Bitcoin inside with a light color. 
I keep going, keep going, all the way on the inside of my coin. Some people have more lines, some people will have less. It all depends on how you draw. But I'm going to do mine first with the yellow because we work from light to dark. Now, once I've done that, I come back in with my brown and I'm going to redraw my lines. But because my yellow is down first, I'm not going to get a real dark line, but I will get a line. It's going to be a lighter version of the actual symbol. Then I come back in and I can just add more lines of the brown. Okay? Alright. I'm going to go around the inside with my brown. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to do this outside rim of my Bitcoin all the way over. Keep going, keep going. And I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color in all the baby circles and all of my double straight lines yellow. Now, when I looked at some of the other designs, they use like computer little computer digits things and there's all kinds of ways you can make this your own. It's kind of interesting that you can design your own Bitcoin. So I limited myself, it is a coin supposedly, I limited myself to just three colors. Okay. Once I did that, I came in with my black and I just colored in the space in between my double lines and my baby circles all the way around. Now somebody's going to say this is way too much work. Just do it. You'll be excited when you see the end product. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yours will look way better than mine because you will take your time. Okay. Now to reinforce my big symbol, I take my black, not too much, and I'm just going to draw a couple of black lines to reinforce my design. Okay? Not a lot. You don't want to kill it. Just a little bit. All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay. Here is my Bitcoin all colored in. Like I mentioned before, the main big symbol of the B is uh, the one part that you want to keep. But the rest of it, including color, you get to design yourself. Okay, bye-bye.